What's up, y'all? It's Arsene, and welcome back. We're gonna be doing a review today of a pair of True Wireless headphones that I picked up. Um, they're not the newest headphones on the market, but um, I, I think even in 2020, they're still holding up with, in my opinion, top five um, best True Wireless earbuds for the value. Um, and I'm talking about the Soundcore Liberty 2 Pros, and they are pretty awesome. This is them. This is them. These are the headphones right here. Uh, In-ear studio performance, they claim. And uh, this isn't going to be an unboxing. Um, I've actually already broke into these. I tested them out. I wanted to um, be really informed for you guys when I did the review and make sure that I had accurate information and I knew what I was talking about. Um, so I've been listening to these for about, I'd say about a week now. Um, so yeah, we're going to discuss them. We're going to discuss what I like about it, what I dislike about it. And, um, it's not a lot that I dislike about it actually, but we're going to really get into it. So getting into the specs a little bit, I know that's what a lot of people like to hear about when they're hearing about, uh, true wireless earbuds. They want to know all the specs, what all can it do? It's 2020 it's software coupled with hardware and everybody's trying to outdo each other in that department. And um, what can these things do? Definitely premium earbuds with an affordable price tag. And when I say premium, I'm not talking about like um, uh, they're they're up there with any of the earbuds on Amazon that are in the hundred dollars and other price range. I mean the sound quality of these, I will put them in the categories with everything from your your AirPods and Galaxy Buds on up to your Sennheiser True Momentums. I kid you not, right now on Amazon, you can get these things for $129.99. Um, again, we're not talking about, oh, I just need a pair of headphones to, a pair of throwaway headphones to listen to, and I don't really care about, you know, their performance necessarily. I don't care about noise cancellation. I don't care about um, wireless charging or any of those things. We're not talking about people that are looking for headphones like that because obviously if you, if you don't care about any of those things, then you could just go on Amazon and buy a pair of $15 headphones and it won't make a difference. I'm talking about if, uh, for my audio files and for, uh, people that just want great sound quality, I would say after listening to these for a week, this is premium sound quality at uh, an incredibly affordable price tag at $130. First, let's go over the specs real quick. So it says Astria coaxial, coaxial, Astria coaxial acoustic architecture. Um, now, I have no idea what the hell that means. Um, I was looking at some videos and what it seems to mean, or, or the break, or at least from what I gather from what was being explained is that there's a separation between the the uh, subwoofer that's in the head and the uh, in the actual earbuds and um, the um, I forgot what you call it the the, the speaker that's um, handling the treble. So usually in earbuds that's all coupled together. So you're getting your bass and you're getting your treble all from the same speaker. And these headphones separate the two. So it can, it can pretty much, it can give more attention to each of those properties and, and have them function um, a lot, just a lot better. So it can, instead of it trying to be powerful enough to supply a lot of bass and a lot of treble out of one speaker, they're both separated in one earbud and they, and they can um, uh, just give you more accurate sound. The subwoofer can focus on the bass and the treble can focus on the highs and those can couple, couple together to make an incredible um, listening experience. Um, these have up to 32 hours of battery life, um, um, eight hours play time, so that's really good. Anyone that's just using these to get back and forth from work, you should have no problem listening to these pretty much all day long. If it only takes you an hour to get to work, you don't even have to really recharge them. You can just put them away, and then when it's time to go back home, you'll still have more than enough play time. It has Hear ID personalized sound. Now, this is something we're gonna really get into. Um, I really enjoyed this. This is uh, one of the things that made me a little bit interested in the um, in the neurophones that came out was their personalized ID situation and the fact that it can kind of um, uh, do a ear test and adjust 
the uh, and and gauge the frequencies and 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 what frequencies are lacking in your ears and adjust the EQ settings within the app so that you can have a personalized listening experience just for you. And that's one of the things that made me want to look into the neurophones. But again, headphones are losing their damn minds with these price tags, so I kind of held off on that a little bit. These are $130. They have the same feature. I tried it out. It actually works. It's not a gimmick. It's not something they're just saying. It's it's an actual thing that works. And I'm assuming the way the technology works is those frequencies where you're having trouble hearing, um, it will boost the EQ in those areas. So you'll have a, a stronger listening experience. And it definitely works. It sounds great. Um, so yeah, that's the Hear ID personalized sound. Um, it has wireless charging, which is great for me because I hate at the end of the night when I want to charge my case looking for a cord. Crystal clear calls. I'm not one of those people that buy wireless earbuds for the call quality. Um, I know everyone says AirPods have the best call quality out of all the, the earbuds on the, the wireless earbuds on the market. And that's one of the reasons that people um, spend the money to get those. That's never been something I was particularly interested in because I I don't like I really don't like talking on the phone with earbuds. I don't like the fact that I can't really hear myself too good when I'm speaking to someone. I'm still old fashioned. I like putting the phone up to my ear. So usually when I get phone calls, I'll just take the earbuds out and just and just put the phone to my ear. That's how I like it. So but it's dope that at least according to them they have crystal clear calls. I haven't used this feature yet, so I don't know how good or how bad it is. Um, if there's anyone out there who, who's um, listened to these and has made phone calls with these, please make sure in the comments section to leave your comments and let uh, and inform other people on how good that is. Because that might be um, something that helps them with their purchasing decision. That might be something that they're looking for in their earbuds. So, first of all, the presentation is pretty cool. I don't even need like a blade or an unboxing knife or anything like that. It just opens up the package right here. I have a tab right here so you can kind of get right into it. Okay, so yeah, you take the plastic off of this. They have a little tab right here. This is the charging case. Now, I thought this charging case was really cool. Um, one, it doesn't look like all the other charging cases on the market. Um, easy enough to put in your pocket. Uh, heavy enough to know that it's there so you don't forget it any place. And the way that it opens is just super sick. The way this thing opens, you just kind of slide it up. I don't know if y'all can see, but just like that. And then the earbuds go in there. These are, And these are the earbuds themselves. They're a little on the big side, but they don't look crazy. I, I tried them on. Let me see. I'll try them on right now so you guys can see what they look like. This is pretty much what they're going to look like in your ear. They go right into the charging case magnetically. Like that, you can see they're not gonna fall out. And you just close it up just like that. They have these LED indicators right here to let you know um, how much battery life you have. It also has in the back here, USB type C charging. Um, but again, it's uh, a, it has wireless charging. So it's, it's good that you have the best of both and it has USB type C. So if you're gonna have um, a wire charging setup why not USB type C they're not touch sensitive they uh they have buttons on them which for me I like better I like the buttons better than the whole touch thing just because sometimes the touch thing isn't accurate and also sometimes when you're trying to adjust your earbuds or take the earbuds out you, you accidentally touch the touch pad and it just acts all wonky buttons there's no confusion in buttons and uh the buttons have a range of different settings all the way from um uh, from Siri to, uh, you know, you tap twice to fast forward, tap twice on the left ear to uh, to go back. Um, you tap once on the right ear to pick up a call. All of those different things. All of the standard things that you get with, the, um, with most true wireless earbuds now. One thing that they don't have is noise cancellation. I will say they come with a range of different ear tips a range of different ear tips and wings and all of that stuff oh oops they come with a range of different ear tips and uh they have the the, the little the wings and all of that stuff there 
so that they can stay in your ears. And if you pick the right one, then you shouldn't have uh, any serious issues with um, noise in the background or anything like that anyway, um, even without the noise cancellation. But these earbuds don't come with noise cancellation. So if that's something you're really looking for in a pair of earbuds, these are not going to do it for you. Um, but they pretty much check off all the other boxes as far as the true wireless earbud uh, um, game is concerned. It definitely makes a really big difference, um, the ear tips that you pick. So right off the back, I'm gonna say this. It doesn't matter if you have these headphones or these earbuds or another pair of earbuds, if you have the, um, the new AirPod Pros, which are using the uh, rubber tips now, you need to make sure that you take the time to choose the right size ear tips for your earbuds. A lot of times people say that earbuds don't necessarily sound that good or they wish they sound better, but a, a part of the reason that you're not hearing things the way you wanna hear it is because you have the wrong ear tips in your ear, like they need to fit you. Having the right size ear tips will create a seal in your ear that will allow that sound that's coming through the speakers to really coat your eardrums and really like, you know, give you a great listening experience. If you have the wrong size earbuds, that sound tends to bleed and leak out and, and you lose a lot of those frequencies. So um, make sure you have, take the time to try on the different ear tips and listen to the music, not just try on to see which one fits most comfortably, but also press play and listen to the music and see the changes um, in the frequencies and how things sound with these new ear tips that you put on and find the one that fits you best. One of my biggest gripes, um, and this these are cons, but this is a con that goes across pretty much all earbuds at this point. I ha At least I haven't heard any earbuds at this point that um, fixes this issue that I'm having. Um, but a lot of my biggest gripes with true wireless earbuds in general is that no matter how great the sound quality is, they never seem to get that loud. And, and like, I, I can, I can audibly hear the, I can hear the difference. So like I can, you know, you put on a pair of headphones with wires, or even if you put on a pair of wireless headphones that the headphones themselves connect with the wire, but they just don't connect to the phone. Like the right ear connects to the left ear via wire. And other than that, they're wireless, even those are louder than true wireless earbuds that have no wire at all. And I think a part of the reason for that is the fact that they have no wires. Um, there's only so much power to kind of boost that signal and give you the volume that you're trying to, to hear. I mean, this is just this is my theory. I could be wrong about that. If anyone knows why they're not that loud, please again, again, comment section. Let me know where I'm wrong. But I feel like part of the reason why that might be happening is because there's no wires and they're not powerful enough to boost the signal to give you the volume and you need you need to hear. My most premium set of headphones that I've had were the Sennheiser True Momentums and those sound those might be the best sounding headphones I've ever had. Like they sound amazing. Um these headphones I would say function at almost as good as the Sennheisers and they um they only cost $130. So it's kind of crazy. Like, obviously the Sennheisers sound better. Anyone who's heard the Sennheisers know the Sennheisers sound better. Um, but not by so much to where I think they warrant a $300 price tag. Or, again, I don't remember how much I spent on them. It felt like $400. I, maybe I bought them when they first came out and it was $400. I don't know. It was a lot. It's a lot of money. They're maybe one of the most expensive some of the most expensive true wireless earbuds on the market. Um, I'm not dissing Sennheiser. I, again, I think they sound, the momentum sound great, but for $130, for this to be within the top five range, in my opinion, um, that says a lot about these headphones. The, the mid range is, is, the base on these are incredible. The mid range section is, is decent and the highs are, are mind blowing. If you listen to these on the default settings, the high is the music is so bright that it feel these headphones feel and sound like they're louder than they actually are just just by how piercingly bright these headphones are but not in a negative way sometimes things can be too bright and it can hurt your ears a little bit these headphones don't do that they're super bright super crisp without being painful 
And that's uh, uh, an incredible thing in itself. And then the fact that they give you the option to adjust your EQs the way you want to adjust your EQs, it just makes the listening experience that much better. Then it comes with, if you download the app, it comes with a whole range of different presets that you can put on the headphones and diff from different engineers and, and artists who have their own EQ settings. And you can choose their presets and have that listening experience. Or you can have the tailor-made listening experience just by doing the in-app ear test and it will find those frequencies that you need boosted for you and give you a um, great EQ. And that listening experience is great as well. And these are louder than the Sennheisers. Um, again, they're still not the loudest headphones in the world. But again, if you're looking for the loudest headphones or earbuds in the world, um, buying a pair of true wireless earbuds is probably going to disappoint you every time because most true wireless earbuds are not louder than wired earbuds, at least at this point. I'm sure at some point that will change, but for right now, that's not the case. So if you're trying to buy a pair of true wireless earbuds, you should be listening for sound quality. And these are amazing. Um, you can't go wrong with these. And like I said, in the app, there's so many different uh, functions and, and tailor-made things you can do to make your listening experience better that it's just these are worth way more than $130 in my opinion it's a still at $130 but for right now these are my favorite earbuds the uh, Soundcore Liberty 2s and um, yeah so I'll leave the link down in the description for you guys to pick up the earbuds and um, if you have any questions or if there's anything in this video that I didn't answer please feel free to ask me Right, like I said, these are my favorite right now. So right now, I'm listening to these every day. And um, I should be able to answer any questions you have. So please send this video out to anybody who's thinking about purchasing the sound cores. And uh, feel free to subscribe and check out more videos on my page. Peace.